Hey guys, it's Six Summers Live and Next Free. I'm back. I'm going to show you. Well, I just did like a brow tutorial earlier. Move this back a little bit more. Um, I'm going to show you how I do my um, my kind of my smoke eye that's made into gold. I'm like goldish color and everything with a splash of blue. I'm going to be using for for that. I'm going to be using the NYX eyeshadow base in black. It's pretty much you, you know they, they have their white shimmer. They have the white shimmer. If you put anything. Any color on that white shimmer is gonna be vibrant. It's gonna shimmer. If you use the neck, the um, the bare skin one, the NYX bare skin uh, primer, the color is just gonna go on like it's just pretty much bare skin. If you use if you use just a white, it'll be just a vibrant color. This one is the black, so well, there you go. This is the black, so it's gonna be you know it'll give you a little bit more darker darker undertone. But before I do all that, what I'm gonna use. What I'm going to be using first, as you, you can see, when I do my brows, I, I kind of cleaned them up. I'm going to be using um, the Makeup Forever. This is in, this is one of the flash colors. Bam. I got this from my lovely child, little Layla. This is the color I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to do with this. So, with the concealer brush or any type of flat brush that you choose, it's going to get some on the brush. Now at this point, I'm using this just for a highlight. I want I want to have that golden, bright brown, well, highlight. So I'm going to get all that on there. And you know, I love to dab, so I'm dab it, dab it, dab it. Dab it all the day. I'm just dab it, dab it, dab it. Cause you just want it. You want it to go on top of the the concealer and blend it all the way down. So once I have that, I'm going to use a good old blending brush from Elf. Elf blending brush. And like I said, I'm going to use. I'm going to be using the the Vice palette from you know good old Urban Decay. And I'm going to be using it in color. Uh, this one is Lucky. So this color here. I love using like you know like a base color, base gel color, and then throw another color on top because I, I can throw on like a good old uh, blue or whatever on top of that, but I also have that you know that goldish undertone and goldish highlight. So now what I'm gonna do, put some on. I'm just gonna blend it all. On. First I dab across, and then. And windshield, windshield, windshield. At some point, you may have to go in with the actual eyeshadow brush to clean up, like to get all the way up to the edges, so you don't, you know, mess up your perfectly good brush. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to go over it all again. So now, as you can see, I have that, that kind of cute little bronze and yellowish. Oh my god. These people want to see me doing makeup. They're like painting our building and everything. And I'm like in the living room. I have no light. Well, I have like no curtains or anything. So they're going to see me doing makeup. Which, you know, pretty much I don't care. Brooklyn told me this is going to happen to me. I don't care. So now what we're gonna do is go out with the eyeshadow base in black. Like I said, this is before you do any type of transition colors or anything. Oh, they're about to be above me. Yes, yes. See the cross dresser. See the makeup tutorial. How are y'all doing? Oh, I'm gonna go all the way for it. So now this is what the eyeshadow base looks like. It's just you know black. Some people will say you know it's just like good old black gel liner and, and all that stuff. It doesn't go on like gel liner, it goes on like, like I said, it's an eyeshadow base. So with my finger, you can use a brush or you can use your finger. I use either or. So I'm going to just go on my lid. And again, you can get all, all the stuff I was using from Ulta. Well, not the Makeup Forever, you got to get that from um, Sephora. So, with the eyeshadow base, all I'm doing is just 
I'm just pressing it and smooth it. You know, to get the, have that nice, get that, get all nice and blended. So at this point, I'm gonna be using, for my crease, I'm gonna be using, mm, this might be a cute color. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna use rain from the same vice palette. Dab it, dab it on the brush, tap off the excess. And then here I'm gonna like a dab and then I'm just gonna go into that crease. Or have that crease area. Because a good old nighttime bedroom is sexy smoke out is great. So now, once I have that done, I'm gonna go over, over my lid. I do it two ways. I'm gonna go over it with Revolver, which is not like a super, super black. It's like a bluish, blackish color, grayish. I should, put, I should do, do a tutorial on my Naked, my Naked Smoky palette. Mm, I can wait. So I'm gonna put, get Revolver on my brush. And I'm just gonna dab. That revolver, and the the great thing about this black, the black eyeshadow base, it just is make everything just stand out a little bit more. Like I said, I'm just gonna dab it. You know, some people brush. I don't like brushing. I like to dab because you can blend it better when you just dab. And now. The same blending brush I had earlier, you're just gonna go over it all, make sure it's all that nice and blended. As you can see, it's kind of all that, it's like a blue, bluish gold. Now, I'm gonna go under the whole thing. What you need to do is get your NYX and white eyeshadow base. You can use a brush, or like I said, I like using my finger. And I'm just gonna dab it in a couple places. And I'll blend it with my finger in the same exact places. And y'all gonna see why. So now I'm gonna go over the whole thing with heroin. We're gonna have a brighter blue. I don't think I have a brighter blue in this kit. Or if I do, it's it's not with me. So I'm gonna use heroin. This is the heroin color I'm gonna be using. Normally I use like a you know bright baby blue and all that. And I thought I grabbed everything in my kit, but I guess I didn't. So meh. With a blending brush and heroin, just gonna put some on the brush, tap off the excess, and just dab it across. Dab it across. Just, like I said, I'm just gonna dab it across. Once I have it all dabbed over, then one more time and blend. This is great if you have like some good old ice, like good old green contacts on it, and you just wanna, you just want it to pop. This would be perfect. Now, do I have it? Yeah, I've been rocking this, um, this Scandal High waterproof. Oh, well, I got this from Walgreens. It's in color black. And we're gonna do the waterline now. Oh, they're above me. I thought they was like what? Yeah, they're above me. Are they? Yeah, okay, good. Now, now I'm just gonna go over my waterline. You can go over how many times you want. It's like depending on how how amount how amount how dark you want. So bam. So there we go. Have the nice good old smoke eye. We got the nice pretty much it's like a nice dark blue with the blue on top with a little shimmer. 
If you want, you can get some red. Add some red. This I'm gonna be using flame red from Mac. Get some red on another blending brush. Tap off the excess. And in that crease area, I'm just gonna go over it. So I have that little hint over it. So bam, so there you go. Now let's do lashes. While I'm here, let's do lashes. If I can uh, there we go. Okay. The glue I love to use is is duo. I use duo a lot. I mainly I mainly only use duo. Because duo is like the best. Duo, you just put it on, you wait, you know, the 30 seconds, meaning you can put it on, put it on the lash. Look, I'll show you. These are 301s. These are my good old draggy, draggy lashes and things like that. So, what we're gonna do, when you have fresh lashes, you take them apart, and you kind of make them in a U shape. You just bendy, bendy, bendy. Bendy, 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 bendy. So now, with the duo, it's already brushed and everything, you just put it all, you, you just coat it. Well, not like coat, you just coat. You put it on there, right? Once you have it on there, people will mess up and they just be like, okay, I'm done. I'm just gonna throw it on my eye right now. No, with duo, you gotta wait until it gets tacky, you know? Okay, like I said, it was earlier, after you have the glue on for like 30 seconds, how I do it is normally I put on duo on my lash, and then I'll go and do my lip liner and all that stuff. 30, 30 seconds should pass. Where it gets that, you know, nice tacky. It went from white to like a nice blue. So now, oh damn it, I put the, uh, this is always a habit because I always put lashes on this side. Uh, I, do, I do lash on this side reverse. You know, you know lashes, the long side will go on this side because the inside is shorter. But I got the wrong, wrong pair, but it's fine. So with that, with the lashes, all you have to do, once you place it on, some people use tweezers, I don't. It's like this nice and simple. And I know some girl going to come over here and try to read it and say, your lashes are weird. Oh wait, I, don't, I might like these like that. I may try and make this for a show one day. Just, just some backward lashes. And once you get it on, you just, you know, how I do it with, with my actual lashes. I'll go on with my actual lashes and I kind of press them up into the glue with it. You know, make sure everything nice and sticks. And boom. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you do a nice, good old golden, like good old smoke into the gold with your lashes on backwards. Ha ha ha. Remember, I'm going to stick somewhere. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Yum.